I keep repeating this, but I really am always on the lookout for news on my favorite game, Battlefield 1. And today, I think I've got a really good scoop of information about something that's coming. I think I may have found an image of a DLC weapon that's coming in the near future. Now, I know you guys have been asking a lot in the comments if I know anything that's coming up for Battlefield 1 besides what's in the public domain. And I'm being honest here, I know no more than you do at this stage, but this little leak last night might have given us our first look at what's to come for this game. So the info drop comes from a website called ArtStation. Now this is a place that's a little bit like DeviantArt if you've ever been there, or Flickr for that matter, where artists can put their creations in a profile for people to view. Now last night I happened to come across this page of the lead weapon artist for Battlefield 1, Mr. Peter Olofsson Hermanrud. And last night he posted these three pictures. Now I'm sure you can see from these images that they are weapons that are already in the game. We've got the Che Rigotti for the Medic class, we've got the Harlem Hellfighter Trench Gun for the Assault, and the T.E. Lawrence Rifle for the Scout. All of them looking rather lovely in their in-game renders, you can really see the detail that comes out in them. But of course these are already in the game, so why am I showing them to you? Well, there is a fourth picture and this really caught my attention. I did not expect this in the slightest, but the fourth image is of a crossbow grenade launcher. I really did not expect that. It's got a solid wooden frame mixed with some metal fittings and a large bungee material behind the firing position so it can launch the grenade. And actually, it looks very reminiscent of the Battlefield 3 Expo that came out in the Aftermath DLC, and everyone really enjoyed using that. I really like that weapon in that DLC. It was a very useful gadget in the end. There were four different bolt types, depending on what you wanted to do with them, and overall, it was a nice addition to the game. But here, it looks like it is a proper grenade launcher for Battlefield 1. Now, some of you skeptics out there might be going, did this really exist in World War 1? Well, I haven't managed to find any pictures of a small crossbow grenade launcher rifle thingy, but I have found some references to what could be considered grenade launchers in World War 1. The German Empire used something called the Wurf Machine, which is a spring-powered propulsion device used to lob grenades into enemy territory from the relative safety of your own trench. It could throw a standard grenade about 220 yards, that's roughly 200 meters or so. And the British Empire invented something called the Leech Trench Catapult, and this was to combat the German Werf machine, which took on the form of a crossbow and used a slingshot system to fire the projectiles. Now, about 150 of these devices were made and distributed along the Western Front throughout 1915, but by 1916, they'd been replaced by a French alternative the Sorterell grenade launcher, and then later on by mortars as well. So where would this device fit into Battlefield 1 then? Well, for me, it's not going to be a primary weapon. I can't really see people opting to use this thing over something like an SMG or a rifle, for example. But if we look at previous Battlefield games, we'll see that grenade launchers were primarily gadgets. Now, considering Battlefield 1 already has differing class balance to previous titles, I think this gadget would be most suited to the Medic class. Assault has already got the AT rocket gun, dynamite, anti-tank grenades, and anti-tank mines, so there's plenty of explosives there, and really no need to add any more to that class. The support has two types of mortar, both of which recently had the smoke ability added to it, and they have the powerful limpet mine as well. The Scout is really a longer range operative, and the K-Bullets give it enough power to really cause a nuisance to some enemy armor. A grenade launcher wouldn't really fit into that kind of playstyle. So that leaves us with the Medic. Now I know they already have the grenade launcher-like gadgets, where you can use the barrel of your main weapon to fire the projectiles, but because Medic is really focused on healing and keeping people alive, I don't really see many people using these attachments. Adding a proper, dedicated grenade launcher to the class would, for me, offer a much more enticing option that I might be inclined to pick 
for those close quarter maps like Argonne Forest or the trenches on St. Quentin Scar. When are we likely to see this weapon, if at all? Well, my guess is it would come included in the first paid DLC for Battlefield 1 called They Shall Not Pass, and that comes in March 2017. So it's a few months away yet. But we have to remember, this image doesn't really confirm anything other than DICE mocking up designs and turning them into in-game renders. We all surely know that things get made for games all of the time and never quite make it into the final version. We could be seeing another story of that right here. But I do think it's a lot of effort to go to beyond initial mock-up and sketching stage to not then include something like this into the game. Sure, it's just a gadget and not really a true primary weapon for us to use, but still, it could be a very cool inclusion nonetheless. So let me know what you think about this possible DLC weapon for Battlefield 1 down in the comments. Do you like it or do you loathe it? Let me know down below and if you could drop a like on the video as well, that'll let me know that you enjoyed it and I can do some more Battlefield 1 news in the future. Links to the original images are also down in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.